Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes YouTube channel. I have here this 2007 Sprinter equipped with Mercedes-Benz OM642 turbo diesel engine and I'm unfortunately dealing with that famous engine oil cooler leak. Because of that I got the entire turbo out. Turbo. So I will start with this angle. What you can see here is that electronic actuator from Hella. It's a Garrett GT20 turbocharger. The part of it is that electronic part which does that variable function with the veins. This is how basically the gas is entered. This will be driver side exhaust gases, passenger side exhaust gases coming from here. This is the EGR pipe which goes on the passenger side of the engine. That is that whole EGR. Here are the details. This is so called hot side because it's an exhaust and it's called turbine and I wanna show you that turbine wheel because that part seems to be in absolutely perfect condition. See that? Despite the fact that operates in that high temperature environment that seems to be fine. The variable stuff cannot be moved right now I need to first disconnect it and only after that I will be able to see that it's moving perfectly and lightly. But this video is actually to show you the other side which is damaged. There is zero play in the turbo. If I grab the other side and here there's absolutely no play. It spins really nicely and easily. Uh, I put the camcorder on the tripod so you don't suffer from my shaky hands. So this is the compressor side or it's being called sometimes cold side. And this is where is that air inlet coming to the compressor wheel and we will put it on some stand or something I want to show you a damage on that compressor wheel okay let's the, let the show begin I will try to zoom inside when we have this nice light here and look on those chunks missing on that compressor wheel. Yep, I was trying to avoid this. Look at that, isn't that incredible? I will try different angles of light and also different camcorders so you can see the detail of that damage. Do you see how some of these plates are chewed up, missing chunks of it? It looks like a real disaster to me, definitely. Isn't that something to see so much damage on those blades? Now, I wasn't really aware of it because the vehicle was actually driving and sounding no normally. No check engine light, no drivability problems. So I'm not sure if, I, since I don't have a comparison with the replacement part, I'm not sure uh, how much material is missing. But right now, the one on the left, do you see that one? That chunk gone. Uh huh. That's that's uh, probably the best. Keep it right here and turn it for you. So what do you say? It's definitely should be replaced there's no question about that I just can't find anywhere good source of the replacement 
parts for this turbo. I know it's GT20, it's a Garrett, Honeywell, I have a part number, serial number, I have everything, but I just can't find just this one item where to order it because I don't mind to taking it apart. It's not a problem at all. It seems to be in really good shape, not rusted together and nothing like that. But where to get that thing for some reasonable price? I saw some upgrade, but just that wheel was like $200. That sounds to me pretty crazy. Here you actually can see the part which they rivet or weld to the turbo. I'm not sure what kind of technology they use. And all that information is listed on it. So I just figured that you might find this info and what I'm doing here interesting. I will continue that annoying job of fixing that oil cooler leak. It's a lot of parts which needs to be replaced so I was not looking forward to it but it needs to be done. I want to start driving this printer soon and not just having it here in the shop stock. However you can unfortunately find more stuff broken. But that's life, I guess. It's a used vehicle, 209,000 miles. What can we do? So thank you for watching and please subscribe because I will have way more about these Mercedes diesels for you on this channel soon. See you later, my friend.